What I find most radical and important is the idea that art can illustrate ideas that haven't really happened yet. Art can predict and embody the ideas which technology can impact and create. In our final episode, we talk to artists and expert voices alike about what the future holds for sexuality, technology and art. Will the issues that we have today remain in 50 years? Or will there be many, many more? As the mother of a young child, I've been thinking a lot about how toys teach gender, actually. So I've been using machine learning and I've been scraping all of the data on toys and then I asked it to invent new boys' toys and new girls' toys to kind of get at the absurdity of how gendered toys are. We have so much messaging towards girls that are full of empowerment, but then at the end of the day, it's confined within a certain sphere. I'm planning to create some sci-fi films relating to the future of sexuality and reproduction. In terms of daddy residency, I'm planning to do some lecture performance as a kind of info session. My interests are also not just on the technology themselves, but what users make of it. Every way that users might heighten their sensations or awareness with technology, I think this creativity of the audience is quite wonderful. I think in the future, sexuality will look more like an energy being like synonymous with one's personality. It is shaped by the situations in which you live in and constantly changing all the time. I think our sexuality will look like in the form of very hyper-connected virtual sex. We need to be familiarized with the concept due to the current environmental changes. but. It's also inevitable to think about the dystopian nature of that network. I hope that art will be more multi-sensory. So much of the digital, of course, has to be kind of consumed by the eyes, but we are animals <laughs> with full bodies and full array of sensors that I feel have been kind of underutilized. I hope to enter an installation someday that makes some magical experiences that I've never even imagined experiencing before. Maybe the dream of downloading artistic emotions in your brain through brain chip interface could be a reality. But I think on a more real basis, it is true that a new space has been carved for online art exhibitions, but potentially I could imagine more and more ventures into digital display of art. There will be forms of sexual expression online and in physical space that will be indistinguishable from art. In part three, we look to the future of art and technology. We spoke to three contemporary artists who were challenging our ideas of sexuality. But what's to come in 50 years? Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology. Mm -hmm.